So Christmas has come to an end. Get rid of that. What do you do with all of that leftover turkey? Now I know it's traditional to say, we're gonna just turn that into a curry, right? We're gonna just take a jar of sauce and we're gonna just take some curry powder, mix it together. Listen, you deserve an upgrade. You want restaurant quality curry, but how about we do this? Turkey jalfrezi, but remix it with something that I love, pies. The thing about jalfrezi is it literally means jal hot, fry, frazy, okay? The jalfrezi is all about having some texture, you want vibrancy of colour, you'll get this crimson kind of jammy curry sauce. What I love about red onions, you get this kind of sheen. They're less acidic than say brown or white onions. So you get this kind of slight kind of sweetness that comes through as well. A little bit of ginger. Gonna take some chopped garlic, chilies. This is like the trinity of Indian cooking, right? So good for you because they contain all of these antioxidant properties that fight off things like cold and all of that sort of nasty stuff that you tend to get when you've been running or hard all year long. And then typical, you get to the holidays and you come down with a cold. Not if you cook like this. Ginger, garlic, chilies, boom. It's so good for you. Now we're gonna add some whole garam masala. This is just like one of my favorite ingredients. This is black cardamom pods. They're like the smell of autumn somewhere in Northern India, somewhere like Assam, right? Then I'm gonna take some whole black peppercorns. That is what the Indian subcontinent used to use before chilies arrived from Central and South America. And then we take one cinnamon quill, lardy da snaps, that goes into the pan, and they literally need like a minute or so before they give off this wonderful kind of musk. Next to the party, I'm gonna add just some tin chopped tomatoes, okay? These are pretty bog standard. And they're just gonna go into the pan and what you're looking for with a jar frazy is something that's quite a rough kind of texture. So something that isn't too refined. That's it, it's a fry, that's what you're looking for. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit because I want the juices from our tin tomatoes just to get lovely and jammy. I'm going to throw in a little bit more because, you know, a pie, you can't have a dry pie. A little bit of cumin powder as well. What does that give us? That gives us a lovely kind of, slightly kind of mid-note as an aroma. And then a little bit of ground garam masala. I'm loving how that is looking. If it becomes a little bit too dry, no problem, just add a touch of water. Now I'm gonna serve this up with little baby Chantenay carrots, okay? Those have been steaming. Go into the pan. Gonna take a little bit of sesame oil. It's a great ingredient. I mean that with carrots and cumin seeds. And then just a little bit of kind of honey. Oh my word. I mean, that takes carrots up to the next level. And all we're gonna do is just push them around the pan. And what you get is that, look at that gorgeous glaze, right? I mean, now I'm gonna go in. Oh no. <laughs> That sesame oil, toasted sesame oil, get that lovely kind of nuttiness through, a little bit of sweetness that cuts through. Red peppers, then in hot pursuit, green peppers, throw some of those in. 
Look how colourful this looks. Martin, what's your favourite curry? My favourite curry? Yeah. You know my favourite curry, right? You're butter chicken, aren't you? What about a gel frazy? I like a gel frazy. Yeah? Do you... I like it, it's different it's a bit more chunky, you know? I like that. There's texture. There's texture to it, right? And I like this because, you know, you can cook this one really quickly. You know, these days, everything seems to be going up, right? Interest rates energy prices. This is a really, really economical way of cooking. Why? Because I'm using leftovers from Christmas Day and it doesn't take hours to cook. I'm not going to slave over making the pastry. I bought it. Right. And it's done. Look at that. That looks so good. Super tasty turkey gel frazy pie. I'm gonna turn this egg wash, which is just an, an egg, just beaten, a little bit of milk, and I add some turmeric into it. So we give it a really lovely kind of turmeric egg glaze wash over the top. I just like the appearance, right? And also does help just to press the pastry down a little bit so it clings to the edge of the dish like a long lost lover. Okay, right. That now, that now goes into our oven. I've got it at about 180. Um, and that's going to go in for about kind of about sort of half an hour or so. But just keep an eye on it because what you want to do is you want to look at it and just check that it's getting nice and puffed up and golden on the surface. That is one banging pie. Mm. That is what turkey is meant for. Post-Christmas turkey gel crazy pie. That is absolutely scrummy. It's kept all of its flavour. It hasn't dried out. And because we didn't overcook the peppers, they've still got that kind of crunch as well. Guys, this is it. This is a winner. This has got to be your annual thing. You want to make sure you've got enough leftovers to turn it into a turkey gel frazy pie because this is the real crown of turkey. Yum. Mm. <laughs>